Hello, hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to another short episode of Unapologetically Abundant Podcast. I'm your host, Petya Kolobová, and let me just express how much gratitude I have for you, for your messages, for your DMs, for your reviews on my podcast, because it truly means a world to me to see how much power it's in unity, how much power we have when we step in together take out the masks and really stand one for each other. If you have not yet review my podcast and leave a review on iTunes, please, please take a 60 seconds to go there, subscribe and leave me a review. Not only it means a world to me, but also it helps us to get discovered by more people to impact even more lives. And now, Let's move into today's episode. I am doing it here solo with my hummingbirds, with my crystals in my hand. And I want to share with you something super important that I have overcame about money on my journey. And it came up this week when my one of my beautiful one-on-one coaching client sent me a message about feeling guilty into spending money on something that brings her joy if she doesn't need it. Have you ever done something for yourself when you did it as a way of escaping? I surely did. Every Friday after my corporate job or Saturday, if I was working, depending if I work five or six days this week, that week, I would go and I would go to Tivana or Lululemon or Nike and I'm going to restaurants. I'm like, I'm working so hard. I deserve this. For me, spending money was a way out to just feel alive, to have this rush of life in my veins. But just as I was getting in the register, the rush was like already leaving. Like you get home, you throw away some stuff, or maybe you will enjoy it for a couple of weeks and you add it with more of the things in your house. That kind of spending, it's spending on things that are not bringing you life versus taking your money and investing it in things that bring you joy. Instead of feeling guilty of taking money and circulating it in the world, I want you to really see it as giving life. For example, if you love books, if you love lipsticks, if you love great shoes, enjoy it. This is not your permission slip, girl, to go and buy two pair of shoes every single day and then say, you know, Petia, here is my credit card bill. You go for it, girl. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that we came here to truly enjoy life. And if you know something really makes a difference in your life, if something really raises your vibration, enjoy it. Not going and spending money just without intention, like, oh, this will make me feel better. And this will make me feel better. And this will make me feel better. I'm saying being really intentional about money and giving your money purpose. Your money is energy that needs a purpose. It doesn't have a free will like you do. So when you can take a money and give it a purpose, it will happily go out to the world and circulate. Let's say, for example, you go and buy yourself couple of the new crystals, right? Just to raise your vibration. You're not going to break the bank, but unless they're like gigantic and those that I'm planning to buy in my next future house. But normally it's, it's like these pleasures of the life and it makes you feel good. It makes you feel grounded. And imagine not only it brings you joy, but also the person who sold it to you, the person who went and like gave it out from somewhere, person who packed it, person who delivered it to you. So by you investing your money and investing in your joy, you are investing in other people's lives too. And I always love to remind myself and my clients, when you support life, life supports you. I retired my mom. My mom doesn't have to work if she doesn't have to, doesn't want to. It was my lifelong dream. And I've done it this year. I'm taking care of my grandma. I have a team of 11 people that I'm working with on a regular basis. And I know that because I am supporting life, life will support me back. I'm not going to Lululemon or I'm not going to buy myself shoes 
because I'm feeling lonely and desperate and I'm feeling empty and I'm trying to fill the void because there is still this lack and void and it's going to only make it bigger. If we are doing things from place of lack and hope that, okay, this will make me feel better, this will make me feel better, but you are really not looking at the cause, why you're not feeling good, then it's going to be coming again and again and again in your life. So the next time when you're thinking to invest your money in something, ask yourself. You don't have to ask yourself, do I really need it? No, you don't need more crystals. You don't need more shoes. You don't need more lipsticks. It's not about a need. It's about will this support life? Will this bring me joy? Will this make me raise my vibration? Really be in this mindset of circulating money instead of sitting on it and being scared that if you let it go, it will never come back. Because when you're investing money with the trust, with the intention, the money will come back to you because it loves hanging out with you, because it's fun, because it's adventurous. It's like a relationship. You cannot be stifling your relationship and just leaving it at home and you don't go anywhere and what if you leave and I don't trust you, that relationship can be fulfilling and happy and lasting. But when there is a trust, when there is a respect, when there is an intention, then you can enjoy things and really check in with yourself and your intuition why you want to be investing and spending these money. So I'm really excited to see how this landed for you. Please Take a screenshot, share it on your Instagram stories, tag me at Petya Kolibova. I love, love, love seeing the breakthroughs and the aha moments that you had throughout the episode. And let me know, have you ever felt guilty into investing in the simple pleasures for yourself? I would love to hear from you. And again, please make sure to take out 60 seconds to rate this podcast and write me a review. I'm looking forward to it. I'm reading them all one by one and it truly means a world to me. So I will connect with you soon. And remember, I love you, I see you, and I receive you.